Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more W2K15 Universe Mode. My name is Brendan Plays. It's good to be back with more Universe Mode. Today we have Main Event and SmackDown for you guys. So we're about two weeks away from the TLC pay-per-view, and if you haven't already, check out the website, BrendanPlays.com, and you can see what matches are already announced. Also on the website, we have a poll up on the website where you guys can decide on what series I get to play next, so what you want to see on the Brendan Plays YouTube channel next, so make sure you vote on that poll. So here on Main Event, we have Victor going one-on-one -on -one with Cesaro, and we have Sin Cara. He'll have Callisto in his corner, and they'll go one-on-one -on -one against The Miz, and Sandow will be in The Miz's corner. So they're continuing their little rivalry they've been building up on main event in recent weeks. Natalia will go one-on-one -on -one with Paige, the number one contender Paige. She's been uh, doing okay, but not exactly uh, you know, all that convincing. Six-man tag team matches. We have Dean Ambrose, our IC champion, teaming up with Jack Swagger and Batista to face Rusev, Big Show, and Bad News Barrett. That is a big main event on main event. So there you go. That should be... That should be a good one, so I'm looking forward to seeing who wins that one, as am I in this one, Victor and Cesaro, it is Cesaro with the win, so Cesaro and Tyson Kidd aren't the number one contenders, so unfortunately for them, that's not really going to be all that meaningful, that win as The Miz defeats Sin Cara, Natalia and Paige, it was going to be Natalia, so Paige just just can't string together the, the, the consecutive victories that I think she needs to, to build that momentum as Ambrose, Swagger and Batista come away with a victory as well to close out main event. Alright, so we're going to move on to this week's SmackDown. So we have Rusev going one-on-one -on -one with Batista. Rusev's trying to prove that he deserves to be the number one contender for the IC Championship. Will he beat Batista tonight? Big Show is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Dean Ambrose as well. Big Show is also trying to fight for that uh, number one contendership spot. Primetime players, they uh, will say they'll face off against the Inspirational Express. We have AJ Lee, Paige, Natalia. Facing off against the Bellas and Tamina Snooker in a six Diva Tag Team matchup. Bad News Barrett will go one-on-one -on -one with John Cena as well. And our main event, big main event, we've been hyping this one up. Christian, CM Punk teaming up to face Bray Wyatt and Chris Jericho, our World Heavyweight Champion. Of course, Punk and Jericho will go one-on-one -on -one at TLC. And it is Dean Ambrose defeating The Big Show. So maybe The Big Show won't be the next contender. Primetime players get a big victory as well. They needed that one to get them going a little bit. Six Diva Tag Team action. It is Lee, Paige, and Natalia picking up the victory. Barrett versus Cena. John Cena, he's on a bit of a winning role, isn't he? He's doing a lot better than he has in recent times. Cena could be on the comeback. And perhaps the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble could be the place for John Cena to finally win the big match he's been trying to win the last number of months. It's been a while since we've seen Cena at the top, and perhaps Cena might be might be uh, heading into good good form, good momentum at the right time when the Royal Rumble is about to come around. So we have Rusev about to come out, and, and he's going to be facing off against Batista tonight. So this is a big matchup for, for Rusev. Now, I don't think Batista is necessarily looking to get that Intercontinental Championship around his waist, but I think it's more of the fact that Rusev needs a big victory over Batista to keep Rusev going. We've already seen Rusev. He has victories over John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Yes, that's right. So Rusev has picked up some big, big scalps. He didn't beat CM Punk, though. But uh, one man that struggled and failed a little bit in that World Heavyweight Championship number one contendership tournament and was out in the first round by the hands of CM Punk was this man, Batista. And we haven't seen Batista's best in a while. Our former World Heavyweight Champion, Batista. And he's looking to get himself some momentum heading into the Rumble as well. He's probably in a similar situation to John Cena. So perhaps we'll see Batista. If he can beat Rusev tonight, and that might get Batista rolling a little bit before the big Rumble matchup. But uh, Rusev, he has his eyes on the Intercontinental Championship. And tonight, if we can beat Batista, that might cement his spot as the number one contender for that championship belt. As uh, Dean Ambrose picked up a victory over a big show earlier on as well. He's been, certainly been on a roll in his own right. So it's uh, been very, very interesting to see how this is going to pan out. A moment ago, I also mentioned the uh, other confirmed TLC matchup. It is a TLC match. It's between CM Punk and Chris Jericho. We saw Jericho and, and uh, Christian and CM Punk have a bit of an altercation last week. So that will we'll see how that one kind of pans out later on tonight as well. And if you're wondering, what's the deal with the tag team championships? Well, it might. I'm pretty much going to confirm it right now. At TLC, we're going to have a number one contenders match. We've seen the Kalisto and 
and Sin Cara Lucha Dragons versus The Miz and Sandow rivalry. That's been going on for the past three weeks on main events. So we're going to make it official. Tag team match. It's going to be the Lucha Dragons versus The Miz and Sandow. The winner will face the Usos at the Royal Rumble for the World Tag Team Championships. We've seen these two teams fight it out. Well, why not fight it out for the big prize? Number one contendership on the line at TLC. And that should be good. And, uh, of course, Rusev, if he wins this match tonight, that will make him the new number one contender for the IC title. And that will pretty much wrap it up for SmackDown in terms of TLC. And uh, we've got a lot of matches confirmed already on Raw. I think Raw, Raw's pretty much done a dust. I think Raw's got uh, all their matches basically confirmed at this point. And so we'll have to wait and see, like, what's going on now. And uh, we'll have to wait and see... You know, if Rusev can get it done. If it's not Rusev, then I'm not exactly sure who it's going to be. I mean, Rusev, in the last couple of weeks, he's had to defend off Jack Swagger, which he managed to do so successfully. And uh, I just think Rusev is just looking good. I think Rusev has been impressive. And obviously, coming off that big run of momentum he had heading in towards the Survivor Series pay per view, it's hard to argue that Rusev isn't worthy of a championship opportunity, considering, you know, he has probably had his best month in his, in his Universe Mode career in the past month and uh, he has continued it he has missed a couple of steps you know he hasn't been perfect but uh he still looked very very impressive and uh victory over batista tonight may just keep rusev going so the moment rusev tossing batista across the ring as well so we saw John Cena get a victory, now Batista, if he can pick up one as well, we've got the likes of Bad News Barrett, Brock Lesnar, The Big Show, the Royal Rumble certainly is in our sights, and we need to probably start mentioning it a little bit more and start to think about the Royal Rumble and where we're going to be, you know, will SmackDown win the Royal Rumble, I mean last year technically SmackDown did win the Royal Rumble with the SmackDown general manager Randy Orton at the time, he won the Royal Rumble, but he went on to go to Raw and cash in his opportunity for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. So will SmackDown go two from two? Will SmackDown win the Raw Rumble again? Or will this time it be Monday Night Raw? I'd have to say, though, I think SmackDown might have one of the, you know, probably the favorites, to be honest, because I think SmackDown, when you look at the likes of who they have, you know, they have Rusev, they have Batista, they have John Cena, Brock Lesnar, Bad News Barrett. Hell, we could even see The Undertaker perhaps come back somehow, some way. Um, you know, we don't, we don't even know, maybe Sting will enter, I have no idea, like, there's so many great superstars here on SmackDown that could throw their hand up. Not to say there isn't on Raw as well, I mean, Dean, Dean Ambrose as well on SmackDown, so it's not to say there isn't on Raw, you know, we obviously have Daniel Bryan, we have Kane, Ryback, Roman Reigns, you know, lots of great superstars there, but I just think somebody on SmackDown might be due for a big victory. There's a few guys here on SmackDown who haven't really had the opportunity to shine in the past couple of months. You know, since Jericho's come in, CM Punk's on the rise, Christian now taking taking control. So it's a few spots available on SmackDown and uh, someone might use the Royal Rumble to elevate themselves and uh, win the championship at WrestleMania. We don't know. Could be from SmackDown, could be from Raw, but uh, obviously we have to get through TLC first as Rusev and Batista slugging it out right now as Rusev trying to send Batista over the top rope to change his mind and uh, drops down Batista with a beautiful move there from Rusev. So Batista struggling just a little bit. I mean, he hasn't been able to get out of the blocks all that well. It's been... You know, a bit back and forth at times, but Rusev certainly in control. Going for the cover, not going to get there, though. So Rusev certainly in control at this point. But uh, I wouldn't count Batista out yet. Of course, former world heavyweight champion. He's uh, certainly had much success here on Universe Mode. Of course, Batista, he was one guy who came about in the Royal Rumble last year. And uh, he entered the Royal Rumble. was not not successful, but he used the Royal Rumble to get himself momentum. And uh, from there, he uh, managed to win the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. So Batista could be one of those guys who could do a repeat of uh, last year's WrestleMania and main event WrestleMania again and uh, win the championship. Because Batista beat Ryback on that occasion. Down goes Rusev. Big move there by Batista. Here goes the cover. Could be enough to put him away. Not going to be there, though, as uh, Rusev powers out. And a kick to the midsection as well. Rusev, big move. Now he has Batista in the corner. Rusev has, has Batista on the ropes. Uh-oh. Rusev in control. Batista struggling. These shots now from Rusev. Devastating. And still kicking the living hell out of Batista, who has to find a way. Find a way to get back in this one. Now that might be the move he needed. Big shot. Batista 
striking away, but Rusev, geez, Rusev's looking good, isn't he? Rusev has been just on a huge wave of momentum. And that could be enough to put Batista away. He's on his back. Rusev going for the cover. Two, no, just a one count. Batista still in this match, but for how much longer though? How much longer can Batista survive? Uh-oh, Rusev's picked him up and drills him down, spins him around, drills him down. That surely will be enough to beat Batista here tonight. It is, Rusev comes away with the victory and Rusev will now face Dean Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship at tables, ladders, chairs. What a victory for Rusev. Jeez, he's picked up some big wins. Cena, Lesnar, and now Batista. Who can stop Rusev? Will Ambrose be able to hold on to his championship at TLC? Or will Rusev finally win a championship here in Universe Mode? It's been a long time coming, but Rusev is starting to peak at a good time as well. What a victory for Rusev. We're going to get ready to move on, move on to our next matchup. It is a tag team matchup between Christian, CM Punk versus White and Jericho. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes, here comes Christian, and he is a man on a mission for one more match against Chris Jericho, and he wants the match to happen for the World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, for that to happen, Chris Jericho would have to retain his championship, of course, at the TLC pay-per-view. So Christian's been trying to prove himself. In the last number of weeks ever since he's officially arrived at SmackDown, he's trying to win big matches and prove that he is deserving of an opportunity for the World Heavyweight Championship down the line. But this man, he is now the current number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And CM Punk is ready to go. Can Punk keep it going? Because he and Christian tonight will have to put their differences aside. Of course, last week they had a one-on-one -on -one matchup. They'll have to put their differences aside tonight to try and beat this man and his partner Chris Jericho, former Intercontinental Champion Bray Wyatt. And Bray Wyatt and Jericho have a very interesting alliance going on here. I mean, these two guys have teamed up a number of times, of course, the Survivor Series and beyond that as well. So these two guys, Jericho and Wyatt, have a mutual alliance and they've uh, been working together to try and reach a common goal. I don't exactly know what Bray Wyatt's end game is with Jericho. Will Bray Wyatt use Jericho to try and get close to Jericho and then perhaps turn on him and win that world championship and try and become the next world champion here on SmackDown? I have no idea. Or is just Bray Wyatt looking to, you know, align himself with someone who has power, who, you know, is doing very, very well for himself and Chris Jericho to keep Bray Wyatt in the winner's circle? Perhaps that is exactly the case. You know, we haven't seen Bray Wyatt, you know, We've seen him struggle a little bit. Obviously, he couldn't beat Dean Ambrose for that IC Championship now. He's trying to regroup, regather himself. His White family struggled a little bit. So the White family are just, you know, they are struggling a little bit. So perhaps aligning himself with Chris Jericho and, uh, you know, using Jericho to try and keep the wins coming. That might be very beneficial for Bray White in the future. As Christian with a nice neck breaker taking down Bray White. Nice shot again as well. So Christian, it's all about trying to get his hands on Jericho, who turned his back on him. And obviously Christian, he did get the victory against CM Punk last week, and then he's going to tag out very quickly now, so Punk back will uh, enter this matchup. So, you know, during their matchup last week, we saw Chris Jericho come out very early on and strike down Christian and CM Punk, sending a statement, sending a big, big message to both of these men, and now Bray White's going to tag the hell out. Okay, here we go. So TLC, in a TLC matchup, Punk and Jericho, we're going to get a bit of a sneak peek here tonight, here on SmackDown in this tag team matches. Jericho and Punk both in this matchup. So last week, you know, we saw Jericho send a statement, but we also saw Christian just keep his name in the, you know, in the mix. He got a victory over CM Punk, so I just think, what is going to be the role of Christian? You know, will Christian... He obviously, it won't be a, a triple threat match. He's, he's not going to force a triple threat. It's still going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. But, you know, what's Christian thinking? You know, is he gonna, going to get a ringside seat for that TLC match? You know, does he really honestly believe he will be the next number one contender? You know, will we see Christian fight for the championship at the Royal Rumble? I don't know. But Christian certainly is keeping himself going, keeping his name in the mix. And Chris, Jer Chris Jericho does not have to just worry about CM Punk, he also has to worry about Christian. And that's certainly uh, not exactly 
not exactly the best thing to, be, to have on your mind as a world champion, you know, you want to just focus about the one guy you have to face. You don't want to have in the back of your mind another guy that could be next in line or could interfere, could try and screw you over. You know, it's, both these men, Jericho and Christian, they have a personal vendetta against one another. Chris Jericho wants absolutely nothing to do with Christian. And, of course, Christian wanted to be tag team partners with Jericho, but uh, Jericho said no. And now Christian is out to prove himself that he is, you know, he is good enough, that he is in Chris Jericho's lead because Chris Jericho basically said that Christian has never been relevant unless he's had someone else, another tag team partner, to keep him relevant. You know, he used the example of Edge, and then he used the example of himself. You know, Christian, you know, Jericho argued that Christian is, being, is a nobody unless he's teaming up with someone else to keep him relevant. So Christian, I think, for his own, you know, legacy and his own honor, you know, he wants to defend his own honor. He wants to prove to Jericho that he is something. He is a somebody without having to need someone else to, to guide him and, and, and use that other person, that, I guess, to quote-unquote keep him relevant. But uh, Christian, Christian so far, I mean... A victory over CM Punk, you know, perhaps he is starting to prove that he can hang in singles competition. Of course, Christian has been a member of the SmackDown roster before and, you know, of course, went to Raw. But before, in his first SmackDown tenure, never won a championship. He was involved in the IC Championship mix for quite some time, but never won. Then he went to Raw and he teamed himself up with Jericho and they had a fair bit of a success as the Charisma Code. So, perhaps Chris Jericho might have a point. You know, Christian never exactly achieved much success here in Universe Mode until he, you know, aligned himself with Jericho. And now Christian is in the main event here on SmackDown. So perhaps, uh, perhaps Jericho has a point. But at the moment, Christian with the kill switch. And that could, that could be the winning move here for Christian. But Chris Jericho right there to break it up. So, at the moment, Bray Wyatt in a little bit of trouble. CM Punk watching on as Jericho interferes and tries to get the uh, the upper hand for his team. And now the double team. Jericho taking down Christian. Bray Wyatt now taking advantage. And, oh, Christian taken down as well. And now the tag out will occur. In comes Chris Jericho right where he wants him to pick up the pieces. Bray Wyatt sending Christian down. And now a DDT as well. So, perhaps... A Christian has been replaced by Bray Wyatt even. You could even argue that. And now, here we go. The walls of Jericho. The walls are locked in. Christian may tap. The pressure applied. And now, CM Punk breaks it up. So lucky enough there. Oh, code breaker. Not so lucky now. The cover. One, two, three. Chris Jericho. Beats Christian. Well, that is a big victory, and that might be the reality check that Christian needed. He's not quite ready for Chris Jericho yet. And CM Punk had to watch on as uh, his TLC opponent, the World Heavyweight Champion Chris Jericho, comes away with another victory, teaming up with Bray Wyatt tonight. Christian was close. He had Bray Wyatt beat, but Jericho got himself involved. Code Breaker and CM Punk made really no attempt at all to interfere. I mean, he had really didn't even bother to try and help Christian out. He just watched Christian get pinned. I think for CM Punk, you know, he probably wanted Christian to get beat to silence Christian a little bit and make sure the attention is all focused on Punk versus Jericho at TLC, which is just a couple of weeks away now, ladies and gentlemen. Will Chris Jericho hold on or will CM Punk beat Chris Jericho? Let me know in the comment section down below. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like as well. And uh, it's my birthday today, so thank you everyone that has been giving me the birthday wishes as well. Appreciate that. And we had a great live stream as well. So appreciate you guys showing the love and make sure you continue to show the love by following me on Twitter at Brendan Plays. Like me on Facebook, Brendan Plays Official. And uh, make sure you guys have a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next time.